I bet you like saving money. So do I. I like to save money so I can buy more stuff I probably don't need. But one way I like to save money is to work on my bike as much as I can. And one of the services is changing the oil. Now I'm not sure how many people are changing their own oil, but I recommend you give it a shot. It's really not that hard. In this video, we're gonna take a look at what it takes to change oil on a 2019 1250 GSA. You're gonna need a few things. One of them is an oil filter. And I do recommend a BMW oil filter. You're gonna need some oil. This is a Castrol Power One 540. You can buy this on Amazon. I like to get a case of it. A case is roughly $55 and you get six of these. I'll try to sprinkle some links down below so you can take a look at yourself. They don't always got it. Some sort of filter wrench, or maybe you just got really strong hands, but you gotta get the filter off and back on. Going back on is really easy, it's just snug, but sometimes it is, it is a little bit stiffer. So let's take a look at what you need to do. Well, let's start off with the skid plate. If you got the factory skid plate, you'll need a T30 to remove the bolts on the bottom skid plate. Get that out of the way. Then you're gonna need a 10 millimeter Allen bust off the drain plug. Here comes the oil. Grab that drain plug, take a look at the magnet. Clean it off as much as you can. Make sure there's nothing bad on it. And then you're gonna want a crush washer to go back on there. When you remove it, you should also make sure you see it come off and it doesn't stay on the engine. So definitely recommend a new crush washer. Put that back in, hit it with a torque wrench. You could just snug it up, but hey, why not if you got a torque wrench? You got the oil filter, you're gonna remove it, you're gonna put the new one on. That simple. T30, back up your skid plate. Then where is the oil going? Well, if you pull off your passenger seat, look underneath it, hopefully you have your factory tools still. And your factory tools should include this little screwdriver. And when you pull off the bit, you'll see this part right here fits perfectly on the fill plug down here on the right cylinder head. If it's a little tight for you to turn, you can simply stick this in on the side. There's a hole and now it gives you better leverage to turn it. It's simply a plastic little cap, you're gonna get it out of the way and you're gonna put your oil in. That's it. Your oil is now changed. Every 6,000 miles, BMW recommends you change your oil. So the next step maybe might not be that simple and it might not be that inexpensive, right? I started off by talking about saving money and now I'm about to tell you you're gonna need a $400 tool a scan tool to reset your service light. I know, it's annoying. It is what it is. We can only hope BMW changes this in the future. I will say most dealerships, if you roll in there with a service light, you can just ask them to reset it for you. Some will, no problem. Others will charge you maybe 30, 40, $50. I don't really know. That's gonna depend where you live. But getting back to this scan tool, I saved up for a little bit and bought it. I think this is a great buy because it does so much more than reset the oil service light. Meaning if you've got suspension problems or if you're changing other components out or if you wanna read different telemetry, I'm not gonna get into all this thing can do in this video because it's just about changing oil. But the next step in changing your oil is you're gonna go over to your right side where your battery is, T25, that little cover off, and you're gonna find a DLC, a data link connector. Same one, actually, that your car has if you have a newer motorcycle, again, 2019. 
You plug this in, you get a laptop, you use your smartphone, and you reset your oil. Once the GS911 is hooked up to the bike, you're going to launch the app. Launches you over to Safari. So this would be an internet-based... I'm going to go into a detected vehicle. Down at the bottom, service reminder. Service reminder functions. Reset service reminder. You can either do a custom date and mileage or simply the standard 365 days, 6,000 miles. Service reminder has been reset. I hope this video motivates you to change your own oil. And I wanted to say one more thing about the scan tool for resetting the oil reminder and that there is a cheaper alternative way which I simply haven't done so I can't speak to it. I'll throw some links down below and uh, maybe you can look into that for yourself. If changing your oil isn't breaking your bank, then maybe you're not riding enough. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.